you hear the sound? Listen. Uh, it's the sound of blue loading, I guess. Uh oh. Blue is not playing your Urban Resilience 4. Is that bad? Did you crash? Do we have a DC? Oh my god, don't tell me about a disconnection. I can't even turn the sound on. I can't even turn the sound on. There's no sound on. Hello everybody, it's Tiny Turtle, it's 8pm. We gave up on our last game because it wasn't fun. Uh, when you spend the majority of a stream doing nothing and just staring at a screen, you just literally do nothing, you're not giving commands, you're not plotting or planning, it disconnected. Fuck this. European Universalis just doesn't want us to have fun. I think that's what's going on. It was just, it was horrible. It was the most boring thing I've ever done. And it was frustrating and awful. And I'm going to have to restart because fuck you, you, you European Versailles. Anyway, audio. Apply. And now we exited it. And then I turn off the stream thing because otherwise it's going to be a total twat. And ruin everything. Europa, start it up again. Oh, uh, hold on, Blue. I need to actually restart the game and rehost. Once you, uh, yeah. Once you either enter a single player or a multiplayer game, uh, and you go back to the main menu, you cannot actually rejoin a multiplayer game. You have to restart the game. This is uh, this has been an issue with every single Paradox game that I've ever played. Well, this has been an issue with checksums, and now instead of working with checksums, I guess. I just figure, just fuck it. Password. I'm gonna host it. And then I'm gonna go into Steam. Look at this, look at this. Everybody's getting, like, behind the scenes look into how this happens. Now I'm going to Steam and invite her to the game. Oh my god, this is so fucking loud. There we go. And what's actually gonna happen is that Steam and European Marsalis are going to work together to not... Holy shit, it worked. Okay, so shit talking actually helps. So she's in. She's France. I am Castile. Let's go. Let's not waste any time. Murka. I will eventually name every single province, of course. Like I did in the last game, but not at the start. She should get in. Yes. Okay. Uh... Options, audio, just let me max this out. Let me lower this just a little bit. Should be fine. Seems to be the weight, that's fine. Bring all my soldiers to Toledo, to capital. Check out my fleet. Go into my trade. Trade is always fucked up when you start the game. This is for me. Two dudes sending trade to Sevilla, and not a single one actually uh, receiving it and uh, collecting it. I'll take this one from, uh, what is this, Tunis. Collect from trade, we're gonna send Lane de Luna from Tunis. There, mission. Uh, Finis Reconquista. Of course, we have a uh, truce with this motherfucker, and it's gonna be there until 1449. We got five years to wait. A ruling marriage with France. We're also going to get a royal marriage with, uh, with, uh, Aragon doesn't want it? No? Rivalry? You stupid idiot. Alright, moron. Rivals are going to be England, of course, of course, of course. Morocco, of course, of course, of course. And I guess Aragon. I guess. Okay. Uh, let's get this thing up, and I'm just waiting for her to say that it's okay to start. Money. Oh, whew. that is so much better. Holy moly, what an army! Okay, I need six pro. Uh, I need six divisions. I already have. All right, so we can have like three, three. One, two, three. is like a bunch of whatever. It's fine. Uh, 
mats. Don't need it right now. Missionaries don't need it right now. Uh, free advisor slot, I can actually get Fort Advisor. So how about... Ooh, production efficiency. Production efficiency. Missionary strength. I'm gonna be needing that guy soon. Next up, better relations over time, or trade efficiency, trade efficiency, hell yeah. And land force limit modifier, or land... I will take the limit modifier, that will bring me up to, uh, 3 to per turn, excellent. Oh my god, actually, I can actually afford having advisors, we're gonna... We are not gonna have any sort of focus. actually running. Pause, oh, sorry. Uh, Portugal is offering us an alliance. Uh, Portugal is allied with England. No can do, old buddy. No can do. Art. Uh, art. Hello. Ready. And we are go. We are live. Now, I'm gonna go here, take the light ships, tell them to protect trade. They're gonna protect trade in either Sevilla or Safi. Tiny amounts and tiny amounts. Well, just a little bit, so we're gonna go to Safi. The girl pauses because something's going on. Something horrible. All kinds of things could happen. Uh, there could be a regicide, there could be a, some sort of disaster, volcanic eruption, uh, we could see a uh, horde invasion, we could see alien abductions, there's all kinds of things you have to worry about in this game. I think the biggest threat early on is uh, the fear of colonization from the west. Yes, the lies of France. Uh, so what's across here? is this strange and wonderful world that we have never been to and it's got all kinds of amazing animals and different types of fruits and just all kinds of wonderful things that just unimaginable to normal people it's just it's crazy and uh there lives a culture of warriors and murderers and uh, should they ever decide to sail across the uh, the Great Sea, you know, we're, we're gonna have to face them, face off against them, face off against the words. Now Sprawl asks an excellent question. What was wrong with you for that made it not fun? One, combat. Warfare, for us at least, was incredibly frustrating. Not in that it was hard and unfair or whatever, this, None of that, none of that. I mean, sometimes the enemy just has a better army, has better generals, and that's fine. It was more that it felt random and dumb. It feels like when we go to when we go to fight somebody, it's like it's less about using stuff to your advantage. It helps, obviously, it helps. But we're talking about like if I attack a, attack a mountain, I get a minus one. If I attack a river, I get a, I get a minus one. But this is to a roll of 1 to 9. It's pretty big. It's like a 10 to 20% boost. And that is not insignificant. But when you do this, and they let you see the rolls, and the rolls are literally just... When it happens, and this does happen, the AI rolls 9, 9, 8, 9, and you roll 1, 1, 2, 1. This, is ha this happens. Because it's, it's random, right? But that makes it frustrating. It doesn't feel like you're losing because you had poor positioning or you had poor leaders or you had, uh, you had poor armies or poor morale. It feels like you're losing because the AI is throwing dice and you just randomly fucked over. That's not fun. It's frustrating as hell. Watching battles in EU4 is the worst thing I can do. I try to avoid it. I try to just look at the morale and just hope. Because if I watch it, I get frustrated and... Ugh. Second, manpower. Um, the dragons? Yes. Manpower is a pain in the ass. In that, uh... Well, what happened to me is that I don't get a lot of manpower per month. Like, you can see right there, 225 per month. That means, uh... 
every year I can expect maybe 2,500. The years do not come by quickly when you're doing co-op. They come by pretty slowly. Look at this. Alright, 200 men. Now we're gonna wait even longer because we started waiting like halfway through the month. We're gonna wait. And we're gonna wait. We'll check this out. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. Still waiting. 200 more men. Now what happens when you lose all your manpower is that this game becomes a game of doing nothing. It's all about just standing up from the computer, going out, you go and you get a glass of water, you play with your bird, uh, you grab the, uh, the PSP, uh, we get, yeah, we get the PSP, the, I get the places of Vita and I play some Disgaea. Uh, basically, I do anything but play the game because there's nothing to do. I will, I would, uh, I had my guy colonizing and that gets, I don't do anything with that. I had my guys trading, I do nothing with that. And I had to rebuild my armies, which means just waiting for literally decades until my man parts back, I can rebuild my army, then I'd have to come back again because I lost my army, you understand? And, uh, then maybe I can use it. But even then it's like, oh my god, if I go to war and I lose, I'm gonna be spending the next hour literally doing nothing in a stream. It's bad. Now Sprawl asked another excellent question. In fact, I'm gonna name a promise after him. Sprawl. Sprawl. Uh... I will take stability. Now, Sprawl asks, just out of curiosity, did you have Lucky Nations off? That does basically allow countries like England and Austria to cheat. Yes, we did have it off. Uh, but our issue was actually Burgundy in the last game, which is Burgundy and its little, uh, allies in Germany. And again, I don't think Burgundy is considered a lucky nation because it collapses. It's supposed to collapse, and it does collapse. It was just... Yeah. And we kicked England's ass, and Austria was fine, whatever. Also, we are a part of the lucky nations. Historic lucky nations include Castile, France, and Portugal. We're supposed to become big nations, including that's England as well, Austria. I think the Ottomans are a lucky nation. I think Muscovy is a lucky nation as well? Uh... I don't know what else. But, uh... We have now turned that on. So that we get these benefits as well. And I hope. We have also set the AI to easy. And we have given benefits to the player. This is not because the game was impossible. The game wasn't so hard that we couldn't continue going. The game just wasn't fun to play at this speed. If we could go to maximum speed and we could just let mana part build up already for the next like five to ten minutes. Oh, our sprawl says players don't get lucky nation bonuses. Shit. But whatever. Like, like I said, it, it wasn't the difficulty. It was just the frustration. It was the frustration of losing your manpower and not not getting to play the game. You know. So we're making it easier, which is fine, because I suck. I'm really bad, so totally cool. I played this game on... Like when I played single player, I played it normal, and I get the shit kicked out of me. But I don't get frustrated, because I can just speed forward for years at a time, and rebuild everything, and I don't have to sit here doing nothing. Uh, Sprawl says, oh, you came to max speed on multiplayer? That sucks. Uh... Every Paradox Bank game that I've ever played, where you actually go faster than uh, two or three, you end up desyncing horribly, and I'm just not gonna risk it. If Paradox cannot fix the checks and bullshit, I'm not gonna expect them to fix the multiplayer. Kunai asks, Tiny, you're wonderful. Like, how you do it? Well, I do it by playing Dota once in a while, and uh, feeding. Good, uh, good, a good diet. A good diet makes you more familiar. That's, that's how I get my hair to be this, like, shiny and luscious, too. Uh, use good soap. And use a good conditioner. 
Uh, I actually... My, my soap isn't expensive, but I use an expensive conditioner, you know? It helps. It makes me... Nope. Like, like the editor's gonna say, you're worth it. You know? Fucking do it. You feel better about it. Um... Pet soap. It's nice to have a pet. I have a pet right here. Hi, Cleopatra. Hey. She's staring at me like an idiot. Like, she's staring at me like she's an idiot. And like I'm an idiot. It's kind of like a... It works. Uh, Knai says, play more League of Legends. I played a couple of games of League of Legends uh, the other day. Uh, it was okay. It was not Dota. People get mad if you kill an enemy hero. Okay, here's the thing. You're, you're, you're laning, right? And you're... And you, you, you see your ally beating the shit out of a bad guy and you run in there and you help him out like you throw a thing at it and you end up doing very little damage to the guy but you end up getting the killing blow they will shit themselves with fury and anger like holy shit you kill stealing you kill stealing scumbag how the fuck dare you you're just not allowed to help people if the enemy is nearly dead. Even if that means them possibly escaping. You just have to just stand and be like, Alright, all right, man, this is gonna be you two. Alright, this is your duel. You guys fight with honor, I'll fuck off. Also, there's no... There's no denying. And there's no... There's no blocky creeps. Uh... They've got two types of roast though. That's really nice. They've got a dragon. And they got the Baron. And the dragon is easier, while the Baron is incredibly hard. They also got these little creepers that run up and down uh, along the river, and if you kill them, they drop down an AoE buff. They need standing or whatever. They don't have any runes either. Can you imagine that? And when you die, you don't lose gold. Which is nice, actually. Uh, the games are quicker. The map is much smaller. Um, you know, it's funny. Games are shorter, so people you would think would be, uh... Oh, Lord of the Roses. Now, you you think that they'd be less, like, uh, invested in it. But, no, they, 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 they just, they're far more, far angrier than even the angers of Russians. At least with the Russians, you can't understand the horrible things they're saying about you. That is a bonus. We can get three more dudes, so how about uh, a couple of Latin knights and a soldier? Ah, uh, Kunai says we should try out here the storm. I have tried out here the storm. It's good. So how about we rename Leon to Kunai? Galicia can become uh, a blue. Uh, La Mancha will become... No, Toledo, I think, is a good Twilight. There you go. Let's see. What else is here? Redmans. Oh, hey, Redmans. How you doing, buddy? Uh, we're gonna need to name this to, uh... Oh my god, I need a Redmans in fucking... I need to name a Red... Uh, guy Redmans in my... In my, uh, Crazy King game. Oops, there's no A in Redmans. Uh, there's also Westopia, right? I almost was gonna name Sprawl. Madrid becomes Westopia. Should be a stable government? Uh, sure. I'll take a stable government. Uh, combine these idiots. Combine these idiots. How's my money going? My money's going pretty shitty, actually. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. Idiots. Oh yeah, my fleet. Uh, primarily my fleet needs to be able to ferry soldiers, so five cogs. One, two, three, four, five. We're almost ready for war against Granada. Books are moving towards that. That'll do. And... Close your list. Yeah, Kunai, we can play. Do you know Kunai? Because 
Blizzard is a bunch of racists and they don't want Americans and Europeans to uh, mingle because they feel that the Europeans are filthy and washed and dirty and disgusting, which we are, to be fair, but um, I don't think it's fair to say that the Americans are also not, you know, you know, you know, sometimes the Americans don't bathe, it happens. Blue is allied with Savoy, Brittany, and Venice, and me. Yeah, uh, you need to have an, uh, a European copy, and everything you have unlocked in America will not be unlocked in Europe. It's... yeah. And I was stupid, and I... well, stupid. I don't regret it, so whatever. I bought a skin for, uh... that broodmother lady. Uh, the... Queen... Wait, like, yeah, it's a broodmother, right? Or a queen? Was it a queen? It's one of those ladies that lays eggs on top of the, uh, on the, on the, uh, on the hive, and then the eggs pop, and you create zerglings out of them. Is that queens or broodmothers? I don't know. But she's really good. Cool. Her name is Zagara. And with the skin, instead of being this horrible, horrible, strange beast, which is actually really cool, she becomes, like, she becomes... A scorpion with the upper body of, a, of like a human lady and it's all this whole Egyptian motif going on and she has a flying carpet and she's heavy metal and she's pretty cool I like playing as her I just can never decide what, what I like more uh, spreading creep all over the map and going uh, for night as worms or going with just pure raw assassin damage. I can put that. Gala 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 gala. Hello. No, oh, she's being, she being weird. So, 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 uh, you know, you're gonna this for Good game, good game. Did you know that, uh, the fucking Portugal starts off with a fucking explorer? And I think that's one of them. Maybe. And they can explore like all over the North Sea and they can explore all the way down here and they can explore the coastline and everything and it's was well, why Portugal gets a head start in West Africa. That's alright, we're gaining military power, diplomatic power, military power, it's all getting there. First of all, we need two level ups in our technology. Where's that? It's right here. Two lives in this, getting there. Uh, War of the Roses. The ruling dynasty defeats the rebels. The Siege of London is still going though. Oh well. What can you do? I'm not making a lot of money. You know what? My military is. I'm not at war. So how about I, uh... Naval force limit? What? I went over the force limit? Anyway... It wasn't a second ago. Alright, destroy. Destroy. Let me to get here. Uh, what do you say? Okay, so I go to... Uh, economy... Let me actually make money. Uh, potential big bomb now. <laughs> no! I'm not ready to lose everything. Hello, Granda. Look at this guy. Did you see how smug he is? He doesn't give a shit. This castle, we're going to take the castle. Our castle... I think they share the same model with different textures. No? No. You can circle the turrets. You can like angle turrets. Yeah. 
We got different castles than we do. The ball on top of it. Very similar, though. The Ottomans, I'm assuming, get the same. Yep. What about the Ruskies? Ruski? Wait, did you say something? Uh, it's a defensive war. Alright. You didn't ask me to join you. Uh, diplomacy. Lions. Oh yeah, slow, slow, slow. Blue, you didn't ask me to join you. Uh, can I declare one of them? Who's the main bad guy here? She's at war against province. Province. Can I go to work as province? I have no cousin's belly. Uh, covert? Can I? No. Support rebels? Nope. Not even to put my money into it. Was that intentional? Were you sparing me the horrors of losing my entire army again? Do we know more names? Oh, Blue Piggy. Oh, she could, she could call in us now. Okay, excellent. Uh, we need a Blue Piggy. Of course, need a blue piggy. Uh, we need a brofritis. We need a Ludano. We need a full throne. We need no staff. We need a Dr. Feed. We need a Frankie. We need a Scotch Decay. We need a All Power. Okay, new Royal Marriage. Dynastic. Full power, what was that? Super, super. Super, super. Uh, British. Yeah, we're Fredis. Did I get a Frankie? I got a Frankie. Uh, oh! Oh. Could have to be a skeleton warrior. The city of ambitious. There's one left. How about a Jade Star? Why not? A Jade Star. Oh! And of course, if we just start reading about the wild moments. Okay, now I'm making money. Of course, they're. These guys are on shit. Their morale is garbage. We can't find this. Tell me about my military. We can get one more land unit, so, uh. Let's go to that. 10 to 6, 11 to 5. Alright, I can go to war now. Uh, Granada. 
Ah, uh, declare war. No, wait. I almost stupid it again. I'm gonna wait for the morale to rise again. Look at morale. Yeah, we're just, we're just racing out there. It's a speed I've never seen before. Oof. All the morale is making me dizzy. I don't even take this morale. Oh boy. What's really happening is that uh, we basically stopped. We basically got rid of all of their, uh, all of their ammo, all of their outfits, all of their weapons. Like everything is in disarray, and it's been really shitty for them lately. Uh, and now they're just starting to get supplies back, and they're gearing up, and they're training again, and they're they're like getting the rest out of them. They've, they've basically been off duty for the last few years, and now we're going through a couple of months of retraining and uh, getting them back into a fighting condition because they know the war is coming it's been which france france is winning excellent notice of course that france hasn't named a single province not a single province has been renamed there's not even a tiny province can you do that? i don't know that's right. Uh, I mean, provinces to me are like Pokemon. Every province you get, you gotta name it. You gotta name it. Otherwise, it's just. <laughs> she just sent me a message reading busy. Hello, Red Devil161. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a boat after you, then. The Red Devil. And another one, the 161. Uh, you should have made France or named Promise and then give it back. This will be the, uh... The Sprawl, why not? And now we can go to war. Granada, go fuck yourself, I'm taking Garnata and I'm gonna kill your shitty shit. Ready to die. I'm not renaming the Cox, fuck that. Do you need help? I'm not gonna watch the battle itself. Watch these numbers. And the morale. Might not need to, but let's be safe. There we go. Now the bigger army continues south. The smaller army detaches a siege and moves east. what Game of Thrones might have you believe, uh, cavalry versus infantry isn't really good without any sort of infantry support to go with it. Oh, oops. Let's make sure this is actually getting sieged. There. Oh, I just lost a fight. Oh, I just lost all my ships. Wait. I just lost all my cogs. Wait, wait, what? But... Where are the ships that are renamed? Oh wait, these are all the barks. Whoops. Yeah, let's try that again. This bark can be, uh... The devil. The dragon. 
become the, uh... Go fuck yourself, man. 161. The Extremadura becomes Sprawl. And, uh... Tony Isabel becomes... Victory. The Victory. Blue says I'm at war with the entirety of uh, North Africa. Nah. Just the good bits. Okay, you. We don't need you there. And now we just play the waiting game. A little money. Barely there. Okay, I'll take it. The ports are blockaded. That's alright. I wasn't really using them. Oh yeah, one of the downsides of actually leaving that pit like this is that they only ever leave infantry. Because I guess cavalry don't actually add to the siege or whatever? I don't know. No, they do. They do. Clearly they do. Is the computer just stupid then? Because if you have more cavalry than you have infantry, then you don't get a bonus. You get a penalty. Whoa, look at this. Look at Granada. Look at them. Oof. Oh boy. Oof. I don't know what to do. It's probably that the barks were so, ex were so fast that they escaped the battle. Yeah, that makes sense. Money. We're still at minus 70%. Why? Next each phase is in... Okay, it's going to. Uh... I'm going to solve the cost of the lives with fun and power. Only a maximum of 50,000 infantry will make it effective itself each day. New technology, the pack square, land morale, and military tactics will take both. So our military tactics are at uh, 0.75. And the width is 5. We can get the castle. That's nice. Supply limit. 0%, land morale is plus 3, that's pretty good. No flanking range, keep a shock, keep a shock, keep a shock, a little pretty good. The military leader has died. That's alright, let's get a new one. Oh, I can't afford more now, actually. So yeah, now we're just waiting. Let's watch Blue, what's Blue doing? Blue is still at war, except she's pulled all her men back. Oh, no. Austria, really? It's taken us... We're 40 minutes in, and already we have Austria being a total dickwad. Uh, let me see. Yeah, fucking Austria. Savoy and Brittany are... Oh, Savoy was being... Oh... These are getting their asses kicked. That's good at least. They're being... They're being, uh... Relieved. These boats. See, this guy has galleys. I don't have galleys. I don't do galleys. My fleet is primarily going to be outside of the Mediterranean. But when you're here, in, uh, in an inland sea, uh, galleys are actually far more efficient and far more effective. I don't truly know why, but it is how it is. But once you, uh, like here, Galley's rule. Here, 
carrot for the big ships. Oh, also, I get a mod that lets you play anywhere between uh, the year 2 and the year 2015 plus. And, uh, it's pretty cool, actually. It takes technology from level 1 to 100. Uh, it has modern military units uh, based on cultures and whatnot. It has the modern religions, it has all the ancient religions. It's got Rome, the invasion of Rome, the fall of the barbarian invasion, and whatnot. It's pretty cool. But all that makes me want is just, oh, I wish I could get that for, for Crusader Kings 2. Either way, I feel like I should play that. I should play that as the natives in America, starting at the earliest. And see if I can, see if I can colonize the East. That'd be sick, Rod. Yeah, um... You can't speed up efficiently. Oh my god, please tell me that's... No, that's France. With a few units. Crossing a river. Is that France this movie? What the fuck? Oh, Portugal. Portugal versus Morocco. Sure. Uh, Portugal gets the mission to take ten gears because they need to be the defenders of Christendom and they need to turn this into like a shield against the Muslims. And then they want to increase the buffer zone so they take garb as well. I think they may end up getting a claim on Malia as well, but I don't know. I know that Spain is getting a claim on all three of these. But, uh... I don't know if... I don't believe that Portugal has a navy to break through these guys. Then again, Morocco. He's only allied with Mazar. They don't have to get through these guys. Portugal wants to move the Jaxus. Sure. Get on through, you little shit. Invested into the papacy. Wow! I've never been able to do it. I mean, it's a power controller. That's pretty bad. Sorry, what? What? Oh my god! They were still set on fucking patrol. And they just fucking sailed into an. Fuck me. Alright, whatever. I'll just be an idiot. This is kind of how these streams have been going, basically. It's just. rebuilding and rebuilding. Uh, I am at war now. And it's, a it's a successful war. But, uh. Even then. I'm just gonna. You know. France is the one who should be actually doing anything. And, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, had I actually uh, been able to pull me in, I would have lost my entire army in my car, and I would have just quit. I would have just gotten salt and quit. Well, I said, if everyone's going okay, everyone's going just fine. It's just going boring. But I'm about to get Gibraltar, and with that, I'm about to get a new province in it. Oh shit, Cadiz! There we go! There we go! Red Devil! Go 
too bad these uh, guys don't get named. Past is all like uh, Toledo and Madrid. You should be like uh, Jaeger Squad. Uh, Gypsy Danger. Storm. Brilliant Typhoon. Kaiju. Oh, British is first. I'll take that. These can be the Skull Crushers. These can be, uh... These can be Black Rock Land. Warsong Clan. Northman Tribes. Wildlings. Uh The Unsullied. The Golden Company. Uh, big red one. And first, Airborne. Get in these hookers. There you go. This, to me, is your opinion of this gameplay, basically, most of the time. Uh, you guys have armies too, but I can't remember right now. These can be the tooth grinders. Teeth grinders. And these can be, uh, Mad Boys. Let's get that. Nah, I don't really need a general, do I? Fuck it. I need to build 16 ships. I'll do that once the war's over and I can get some money cash going on. The siege is almost over. Once I got that, the war's over as well. Ah, uh, finally. Offer peace. Carnada, Jabotarig, Maria. Are you serious? We're doing this again. Where despite the fact that I've completely annexed the nation I am fighting, I don't actually get 100%. Because, I don't know. Because fucking paradox. Alright, whatever. We'll start like this. Yay. Alright. You go, you guys go to Bustovia, you guys to Twilight. Uh, we are in fact going to convert the Sunnies. The Sunny Boys. We reform the salary is 70.5%. So it's is going up not too quickly, not too fast. It's not being too rapid. I'm worried about I'm worried about Blue's manpower. She's only got 24,000 right now. Burgundy has just taken over what England used to own. What the fuck? Anyway. Let's go take Garnata, my next target. Will be Morocco. Uh, but since the war is over, I can go into my economy. Slam down our maintenance. Slam down food maintenance, which is nothing. And there you go. Now comes the fun part of building ships. Ships are expensive. 
50 for his crack. Oh my god. Uh, all right, okay. I'm gonna want 10 cogs. So let's start with building 10 cogs. I can afford that. So one, two. I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Duke's worth of loot in this province. Ooh. Oh yeah, these have been thoroughly looted. Well, not this one. It's uh, it's able to regain itself. So I guess looting is a thing that we can do. Getting closer, getting a technology. Marines, the uh, space wolves. which will increase my trade power. This is worth it here. And it's going to be worth it in Aragon. Besides that, I'm going to lay off on that one because I need more money. I need more money. Yeah, well, I'm just going to be passing time until my uh, truce with Granada runs out and then I'm just going to go to war, war, war against them again. No tax. Because of local autonomy and intolerance. Oh no. Is this monthly? I guess so. Uh, I don't need votes, but once I get them, I'm not gonna name the cogs. Fuck that. Of 
Portugal is blocking Ifni, I guess. I guess. Well, well done, Portugal. You fucking, you fucking blockade. This poor thing. Ah, poor Morocco. They do have something I want. Gold, copper, spices, sugar. Uh, I guess cloth? I mean, I'll take cloth. I'm really excited about it, we'll take it. Fish too, fish is good. Though, so in the future, fish will be worth a lot less. Largely thanks to uh, Protestantism, which is why the Protestants are dingus dongles. Session will go on its own. I don't want to invest in stability when I could get, instead get a uh, my fourth level of technology. Let me build temples. Is France winning? Holy shit. I think France is massacring a bunch of people. Who was asking if I'm enjoying this game a little bit more? I am. I am. Though I am. Although I'm not waiting for manpower. I'm not. I'm basically. I could go. And. I could go take a shower right now come back and not have missed a thing right now. But I'm not frustrated. It's not a frustrated waiting, it's just slow waiting. I'm trying to find some, you know, you know things that are interesting. You know, be interesting. Again, she's fighting Austria. This time in Dragwignan. And as a victory for her, Looking southwest towards the 5,000 men of province, Armée de Marseille. Marseille. Didn't like insult. Fucking. Wait, what? I need to get a. Oh, either Spain or Castile gains a diplomatic insult castles belly in Portugal. Or, uh, Granada thinks I'm a little bit cooler, so, alright. Hey, Granada, what think about me now? Really? Really? Minus 29, we could actually be buddies. I could send dudes to you and be buddy buddy and we could be like best friends. Okay. There we go, I can now build temples. What up, suckers? And then one more tack and I will be able to take my first idea, which is going to be the quest for the new world. We are going exploring. We are going... Well, first we're going to colonize Africa. But eventually we're going to go sailing across the Great Sea. And we're going to find Central America and we're going to beat the shit out of the natives. Because I'm an asshole and I want their gold. Yes. Fuck it. Uh, this guy can be the pillar of autumn. The pillar of summer. The pillar of spring. And the pillar of winter. This one can be the Targaryen. This can be the Stark. This can be the Karstark. Let's 
go ahead and bring them together one more while we are waiting. Yeah. You can settle in for Fridays for now. He's a tiny turtle. History is the greatest monster. Combine them. Uh, Armada fake instead of Armada real. Targaryen Stark, Pillar Summer, Car Stark, Pillar Spring, Pillar Winter, and Pillar Autumn. Oh, I need this. I need to select this for my park parks. I can build. A temple. Anything at 0 0.2 is worth building, I would say. Anything else, I'd rather stock up on money. I need more money. Oh, I need more money. Five more years, and then we will finish the conquest of Granada. That being said, uh, we are at our... We're at the end of this episode. Uh, I've got a good feeling about this. The fact that she was able to survive this horrible war means that the difficulty is working in her favor. And this is not going to be as boring and uh, frustrating and just unfun. We're going to be having fun now. Thumbs up. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, join me tomorrow for the daily game. Tomorrow's daily game at 1 p.m. is going to be uh, Zomboid, a game that I really enjoy and I look forward to showing off. Uh, Crusader Kings 2 continues at 4 p.m. UTC. Uh, that's the Iron Man Vera game. It's a. I think it's an, a, an exciting part. Uh, we are. We already have an Aguilar thing on the throne, but now we're working towards actually getting to play them. We're trying to get the. The emperor to inherit uh, the the kingdom of Varia, so we can play as the emperor. Things are looking up, honestly. Things are looking pretty okay. And then, of course, this continues at 8 p.m. UTC tomorrow. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night, friends. Good night, Blue.